Now coming into this video, you're probably thinking one of two things. One, why is your hair so damn pink? And two, how can I make my hair that pink as well? Well, if you're a subscriber to my channel, then this is probably completely taking you by surprise. This is not something I've ever done before. I've never dyed my hair before. And it's definitely a very, very bright cotton candy pink. Now, why am I doing this? Is it just for fun? No, it's not just for fun, although it is very fun. I can't wait to go to the gym in a couple of minutes, see how people think of it. But the reason I dyed my hair pink this month is because it is October. And October is Breast Cancer Awareness. Awareness month. I'm doing this because I know all throughout the entire month all the pictures all the videos I post will make people ask the question Why is your hair so pink which will bring attention to the reason which is for breast cancer awareness month This is a perfect time for me to let you guys know that on October 16th in Balboa Park in San Diego I'm going to be joining the making strides of San Diego breast cancer walk and I'm officially inviting all of you who can make it to join because this is going to be a meet and greet so you guys can come hang out with me, Obese to Beast, and whoever else decides to come. I'm sure many more people will come, as well as raise money for charity and for cancer. And I think that is such a cool ass noble cause. So that is why my hair is pink. That's why I decided to dye my hair pink. If you wanna join this walk with me, I'll leave the link in the first line of the description below. Click it, join Team Beyond the Week. There's a team that's actually for making strides of San Diego called Beyond the Week. That's my team, join my team. Now moving back to the second thing, how do you dye your hair into something very vibrant and amazing like this? This with a vegan product well that's what this video is all about I'm gonna take you through my very first time dyeing my hair pink ever and I'm gonna show you every little tip that I can and I'll show you all the products that I used enjoy all right so we are about to start this like I said before I like to push myself out of my comfort zone so dyeing my hair is definitely not something I've ever done before and it's kind of outside of my comfort zone so we got the crap shirt on right now this is the shirt I print in so if we get pink all over white all over it doesn't really matter I've got my two products my bleach and my pink hair dye first thing we got to do is we got to bleach my hair so it's not brown it's white and then we can apply the dye. So the box is gonna come with two different things, this little vial and this bucket right here. This bucket has a shower cap in it and stuff, and some powder, and then this vial has the, kind of like the activating goo. So you're gonna mix this and this, and that's gonna be the bleach. <laughs> it's so cute having you explain yourself. I have the smallest hands, let's see how they fit. Oh my God, these are like, this fit perfect. Extra, extra large. So the kit comes with two gloves that you're gonna use because you don't want this too much on your skin. It is bleach and it should be nice and thick. All the uh, little like um, lumps and whatnot should be out. It should be this nice creamy consistency. Now we apply to our heads. So it's starting to get dark. I think we're gonna just apply this uh, bleach right now, then go inside and then we'll finish the rest of the stuff inside. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. We got super thick hair too. Update, it kind of stinks a little tiny bit. <laughs> I can start to feel my scalp just slightly itching. If you're someone who's from fitness world, you might know this as the beta alanine kind of itch. And it's super cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> Got my shower cap right here that came with the package. And we're just gonna finish up the rest of my hair. And I think also from what I've kind of deduced from looking at other people using the same kit is that they, they like to brush it at first and at the end, they like to just use their hands with the glove to make sure that every little bit is all surrounded around your hair. Holy Rap, I look like a street fighter. <laughs> it feels so good to have you itch it. itch it a little bit. So we're gonna leave this in, and, it, I, and who knows how long you're supposed to keep it in. It's supposed to, uh, it says it's supposed to check every like 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna keep it in for about 30, 45 minutes, depending on how much it is or is not hurting. And the only additional part other than the blending it in with the hands is just putting on the shower cap, which I'm about to do, and then I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. <laughs> lunch lady. I am here to serve you lunch. It has been about 45 minutes. I'm in my garage. It's super dark outside. I'm not sure where I'm gonna film the rest of this, but it's been about 45 minutes. My head is getting massively itchy. Like I keep reaching back and scratching through the plastic. Uh, it burns slightly, but not in an extremely painful way at all. Like seriously, I'm not even worried about it at all. But it's now been 45 minutes. My hair is obviously very much so a brighter color. So now I'm gonna go in the shower, wash this off, and then we have the next step, which is turning this pink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. Dude, you could pull it off. I could I could just stop here. 
It kind of looks nice that it's a little yellow. Fresh out of the shower, and I think it's whiter and more perfect than I could have ever hoped for. It's a little bit yellow, yes, but uh, I think this is gonna be perfect for applying the pink. So now we got this stuff, we're gonna throw this into a bowl and basically do the exact same thing that we did with the bleach. We're gonna cover every single strand of hair and we're gonna let it sit for 30 to 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Goop it on there. Boy, you hated me before. <laughs> <laughs> you about to hate me real bad now. It's so pink. So we've applied all the pink to my hair. Hopefully it actually comes out. I mean, obviously it's not gonna come out this bright, but hopefully it comes out close to this. We already burned the other cap because it had bleach all over it. So now the home remedy is to use a grocery bag. You guys can totally do this too if you're doing it the same way I am. Go for it, Chief. I haven't done this in years, so. Yeah. Any girls do their hair at home? I know you know what I'm talking about here. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're setting a timer for about 30 minutes, then I'm going to take another shower, wash all this out, and hopefully at that point we'll have some very pink hair. We'll find out. Alright my friends, the time has come. Are you ready for this? The unveiling! Damn though! Look how pink it is! I was really nervous it was going to be a little orange or something because that's what happens when your hair is too yellow when you try to put pink into it. I think it came out literally 100% Perfect, exactly what I was going for. Really, really, really bright. I wanted it to be the same color as the uh, the actual product that I put in my hair. Perfect, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be a big ass statement. Yo, look at me and ask me why my hair is this way and then I can inform you that it's for breast cancer. A little tip for those of you who don't necessarily want your hair to come out quite this vibrant, because I realize this is very like Street Fighter-esque. It's very bright. If you put just a bit of conditioner into the pink hair dye or whatever hair dye you're using, it'll make it kind of a more pastel or less bright color. It'll be a little bit more washed out. But damn though, Woo! Seriously, for being a home dye, and especially my first time, I've never dyed my hair before in my life, this came out so perfect. Baby girl killed it. Sammy, big kudos, big credits to you. If I didn't have you, I'm sure this would have gone in a hundred different directions. I probably would have got a bunch of spots that I missed. But yeah, you nailed it, babe. Thank you. So that is it, guys. Hopefully this video was a good tutorial that showed you exactly how to use these products, how to dye your hair in a vegan way. I know for a lot of you guys, this came as a shock. You were probably looking at the thumbnail and just thinking, what in the hell is going on with Brian? I'm just big on this, this whole breast cancer thing. It's really about any type of cancer because I have a couple friends who have been inflicted with cancer in the past, even currently. And it, it it's definitely a topic that I think needs more light shed on it and more empathy from other people because it is something that occurs so commonly and it can happen to anybody. Any one of us can have it happen and anybody that you know, your sister, your brother, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your parents, anybody can have it happen to them. So I just, I want people to bring more light to it and be more aware of it and be more supportive and charitable towards it. So that's it for this video. Hopefully I see you guys at the charity walk if you are watching this before this video is way in the future. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a pink thumbs up. Up, give it a pink comment below and give it a pink subscribe if you're not pink subscribed to my channel already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Oh, I'm excited about this one, guys. I just finished up my last Dermapen treatment. This is my third one, final one. Episode will be coming up later in this week, but I just want to take this quick second to say that I understand, and I'm sure there's already comments about it, I understand that some cancer societies and cancer organizations aren't necessarily using all of that money towards people that should actually get it. And I totally didn't know any of this. I hadn't looked into any of this when I started the plan for this walk. So the walk is still on. This year, there's nothing changing. The money you can donate will go to American Cancer Society and it will help some people. But granted, there could be better ways to donate money to people who need it. So this year, we're just gonna stick with status quo. But next year, I'm hoping that I can develop a way that we can have the same walk, but this time, the money that you donate, we all will collectively choose one person who is going through cancer and needs money for a procedure or for a transplant or whatever it is, and we are going to source the money for that person directly, 100%. That way, none of the money gets thrown into different places and that stuff, every single dollar will be going towards someone who needs it. So that is next year. And I just wanted to make this clip real quick so that you guys understand that I do understand and I'm looking into better ways to donate what we have. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you aren't subscribed already, I hope you subscribe. Have a good day.